Hi everyone, welcome to the next um, video in this um, series from Rooms of Wonder. And here we have a cassette tape. Now I'm not really sure whether everyone watching will know or remember what they are, but um, I'm going to start colouring anyway. This is number nine, which is the black. Um, I always remember cassettes being black, so that's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to just start lightly. I don't want it to be overwhelmingly black. But I'm going to put a light layer of black on and then think about where it might be a little bit lighter and darker in um, in shade. Now, I think that this is a mixtape. Um, what people used to do was they would make a little mixtape for their um, partner. Um, or for their girlfriend or boyfriend because there are hearts drawn on here this is the label so I'm thinking has um, has a boy made mixtape for his girlfriend or you know something like that um, I used to make um, it was of course completely illegal you weren't supposed to record music from tape to tape or off um, the radio or anything um, you're supposed to buy the singles but uh, everybody did it, and uh, I used to do it too. Um, recording the um, Top of the Pops, and not Top of the Pops, that was on TV, um, the um, chart show off Radio 1, and uh, recording the songs that I wanted. It was always tricky, you'd have to listen to the charts, stand right next to the tape recorder, and um, wait and see whether your choice of songs going to come up. Now let's think about light and shade. I think the top's going to be the lightest, I think the side's going to be the darkest, and this is going to be somewhere in between. So I'm going to put a second layer of black on this front part. Now because these are soft pencils, um, hard pencils, sorry, um, it doesn't, you don't get a really, really dark black initially. You can, you can if you press really hard, which I wouldn't recommend, or if you just gently layer up but um, it means that you can get different tones quite easily. I don't know if tone's the right word, but anyway, different, different intensity of colour. So you can see that this is darker than, uh, than just the one layer. It takes patience to layer up. It can be tempting to just push hard to get a darker colour. And that does work, but we have to be a little bit careful that we don't damage the paper or the pencil. So this side, I think, is going to be even darker. So I'm going to put down a second layer. You can see it looks like that. And then a third layer. Can you see how what a difference it's made? So a darker layer up to that sort of corner there, and then another one. And I'm thinking under here it would be even darker, and here where there's shadow, but I'm not sure it's going to show up. I think we've sort of um, used up our tooth in our paper, really. So that is that. Um, now the actual tape used to be a sort of very dark blackish brownish colour, so I think I'm going to grab, uh, yeah, the 77. Um, this is the um, tobacco brown. I think it will be the best for the actual tape. I remember this tape used to sometimes get jammed in the tape recorder and you'd try and take out the tape itself and you would end up um, pulling all this these reel of tape out. And then you'd have to get a pencil and put it through this hole here and wind it back up onto the spools within the tape. I guess they're in there, I don't know. And it wasn't much fun. Now I'm thinking these two pieces on the sides, I can't really remember those, but I'm gonna do them in a silver. And I always think the number um, eight, which is our gray, is quite a nice purpley gray, which I think makes a good silver. So I'll show you what I'm going to do with this one is just make it a little darker here. So just um, putting a few layers here and here. And a bit less there. I'm going to do the same on this side. So leave a bit of shine in the middle. It's really cheats grey, um, silver. We're only doing one colour. I could add some others in. But really, there aren't many similar colours to this. The dove grey might have worked with it, but I'm quite happy with that. Now I'm not sure what 
I think these are the screws, so I think I might do these in this colour too. And try and leave a little bit of white in the middle as if there's a bit of shine. Not too worried about it looking super shiny. They were often made of plastic anyway. And that one hasn't got any anyway. But I think what we need to do now is make it look a little bit more fun with these stickers. Um, that bit in the middle there, that would be a gap, as would those, the holes. There would be a plastic reel um, around here, which we can see the edge of there. I'm not sure what colour to do that. I think we'll, we'll think about that later. We'll do the label. So we've got the little hearts. I'm thinking a really bright pink. The number 61, which is our dark mauve. Oops. We use that for the hearts. Maybe they're just love songs. It's cute, isn't it? I think it's clever. What Johanna does is she um, just writes a sort of nonsense word on there so that she doesn't have to redraw the pictures for different versions of the book. Whereas with someone like Hannah Carlson, she does um, draw on the book. I'm just choosing my pink. I'm trying to find the one I want. There it is, number 20. This is the... the um, magenta. Um, she does, um, Hannah Carlson does write proper words in her pictures so I guess she has to redraw that bit depending on where her book's being published. I'm keeping this quite light. Oh, I nearly went into there then. That has to stay empty. I'm thinking maybe this bit, another layer, a little bit darker on there. And then maybe we'll make this bit, so I'm layering up a little bit here a little bit darker than the centre bit. Now tapes would often, if you bought a commercial tape, it would have um, a picture of the band on it or something. And inside the tape case there'd be a little booklet and it would have all the words to the songs and that sort of thing in there. So you could sing along. I'm going to use number 21, which is the light rose, just to do that little spool there. And I'm also going to use it for the label because remember I'm using a little bit of one of the colours that I've used already for each of the labels. Um, and I think this one, I'm trying to go a little bit lighter on that curled over bit. So I'm just going to layer that up a little bit more. There we go. And we're going to do the tape. Um, I'm thinking maybe a really light grey. What have we got? All this, uh, maybe, yeah, let's do that dove grey that I mentioned. We can, we can see that then. It's number 83. See it's quite light. Now, this part here is usually covered. It's not open. There's a bit of plastic over it so that you can't damage the um, tape bit. So I'm thinking we might just go over this like that just to make it look like you can see there's something there that's shiny I don't know if that really works but that's that the holes here would be empty you need to push your pencil in there to wind up your broken tape but there we go there is our tape um, it's quite a fun thing um, I yeah I used to love my tapes <laughs> anyway that's today um, there'll be another video later um, but for today, that's us for this morning. So thank you for watching and uh, tune in tomorrow to s see how I colour the drum. But thank you and happy colouring.